what do we know about lake trout in Lake Champlain? It's kind of a Swiss cheese problem. We've got a lot of holes in the story of lake trout. But here we go. We know that lake trout are being born in hatcheries. They're being released into Lake Champlain. They're meeting up on spawning sites, laying eggs, fertilizing those eggs. Those eggs are hatching into fry. Those are baby fish, if you will. And then those fry just disappear. They're not becoming adults. So that's one of our biggest holes. We don't know why they're not becoming adult fish in Lake Champlain. Looking into what my research is actually investigating, you have to back up a few steps and we're looking into their actual reproductive behavior. So how they use the spawning sites that they're going to, if there's a disparity between male and female behavior on the spawning sites, and if they return to those sites year after year. This research tracking lake trout in Lake Champlain might help us to answer some of these questions. It could fill in some of the holes in that Swiss cheese problem. Learning more about their behavior in Lake Champlain might be able to tell us a little bit more about why those fry aren't becoming adults. We're tracking these fish using acoustic telemetry, which is a technology that allows researchers to remotely track and study the behavior of different organisms. There are two devices that are communicating with each other. One of these devices is placed in the abdomen of lake trout, and the other device is sitting in sites throughout Lake Champlain that are sites of interest. The transmitters that we implant within the fish are actually emitting acoustic signals, so sounds. And the receivers that we have placed throughout the lake are listening for those sounds so that we can actually kind of create a trail of where the fish has been throughout the lake by looking at the different receivers that he or she visited. In order to do that, to get those transmitters into the abdomen of the fish, we need to backtrack a little and talk about surgery. In order to implant these fish with the tags, we catch them using trap nets and short-term gill nets. them from the nets, sedate them using clove oil, do a small incision on their um, abdomen about two to three centimeters long, insert the tag, suture them up, and then put the fish in a recovery tank to regain their equilibrium, which usually takes five to fifteen minutes. From that point on, we release them and hope for the best. To date, we have tagged about 100 fish and we have a year of data that we've downloaded. The research that we're undertaking right now and the studies that we're doing are going to be part of this greater system that we've created in the lake, the Champlain Acoustic Telemetry Observation System, which is this network that's in place throughout the lake that can be utilized by multiple studies and even multiple institutions at the same time. And that will facilitate um, data sharing and collaboration on information and, and just give us a really great idea of fish movement in the lake for as many species as we can tag. It adds to the information. Should I say that again? Are you filming? Oh, poo. Okay, go. <laughs> Stop for a second. Um, 90 of those are walleye. Oh, no, that's not true. 90 of those are lake trout and the rest are walleye. So, yeah! <laughs> it's research track. Tell me when. Starting. <laughs> so what is the problem? <laughs> it's not pointless. <laughs> it's got a point.